Here I'll cover how we can help you to simulate airflow through the radiator and a fan and give some design suggestions, prevent sloshing in your fuel and oil pans, improve internal combustion engine performance, design a battery pack, and design an electric motor. One common issue in internal combustion vehicles is overheating because the team is not able to perform heat exchanger flow simulations of the system in order to make better design decisions. SimCenter Star System Plus helps to eliminate these problems. This is a CFD-focused multi-physics simulation software that interconnects the entire simulation process in a single interface and provides renowned meshing capabilities that are easy to use. An article was developed in collaboration with the Formula SAE team at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo to show how to set up and validate both a radiator and a fan in Star System Plus. That setup was then used to explore different radiator and fan configurations such as opening sizes and their effective mass flow through the radiator core, radiator angles and how that affects mass flow and forces on the duct, fan shroud changes including exploring how removing the fan affects mass flow, a short duct versus no duct, and other considerations. It should be noted that the students who worked on these radiator validation studies was hired by NASA and then SpaceX, and he mentions here that his experience was very applicable to his work. Another issue is that when fuel and oil pans are designed, students can't leverage simulation to improve its performance. In contrast, we have a video tutorial in the support center that shows you how to fully set up a fuel tank sloshing case. The maximum lateral gravitational force from FSAE Michigan was applied as a constant in the simulation. The goal here is to adjust the baffling so that the time it takes to clear the fuel from the intake is maximized. After the initial run, baffling is added and then adjusted. Another common issue is that teams aren't able to perform detailed simulations of their engine in order to optimize intake ports, valve timing, piston shape, injection, ignition, or their chamber. We can address this through a streamlined setup application for in-cylinder simulations in Star CCM Plus called Star Ice which allows these modifications to the engine to be explored. At the most basic level, a cold flow analysis allows for understanding of cylinder bulk motion and filling, optimizing intake ports, valve timing and piston shape, and maximizing turbulence levels and trapped mass. This can be expanded to understand injection spray flow interaction in order to maximize homogenization and optimize stratification. And finally, it can be used to understand combustion performance and optimize ignition timing. Teams also don't know how to reduce mass flow restrictions that may occur in their intake under choke conditions. And they like an understanding of how specific CAD changes in their intake changes pressure waves in time. To address the first issue, this article in our FSAA forum shows how to leverage the optimization built into Star System Plus to optimize the mass flow rate through the intake restrictor under choke conditions by finding the optimal angle upstream and downstream of the restrictor. Note that the article contains these files needed to run the case. To expand the scope of what is simulated in the powertrain, a mechatronic software called SimCenter AIMSIM can be used. This enables teams to simulate their intake manifold combined with the rest of their entire powertrain as this formula student team describes. We decided to modelize our engine uh, with uh, an LMS MSIM model. We wanted to simulate the um, acoustics of the engine more precisely in the intake and exhaust areas. So uh, we uh, realized two models, a 0D interior engine model and a 1D model of the, the pipes. Uh, we used uh, several libraries, but mainly we used uh, the uh, IFP, and IFP drive and IFP engine and uh, CFD 1D uh, libraries. And thanks to uh, this uh, LMS MC model, uh, we uh, could predict uh, the performance of our uh, engine and thus the performance of our racing car. Uh, in the use of LMS Amzim, the EPSA team particularly appreciated the graphical interface. Um, a lot of software requires time uh, in order to handle them properly, which is not the case with Amzim. Um, besides, the high number of models included in the software uh, allowed us to make our first simulation very quickly. And uh, once the handling, handling phase is done, 
uh, it was also very easy to improve our models in order to get results uh, closer to reality. Uh, with LMS Amzim, we can also um, create models of uh, physical phenomena that the team doesn't uh, master very well. Uh, before, the solutions that we were used uh, to using uh, required us to uh, fully create the model and as a consequence to um, fully master the uh, physical phenomena involved in this model. Uh, so with the same amount of uh, knowledge, LMS Amzim uh, allows us to um, create models from more complex physical phenomena. LMS Amzim simulation gives us a better understanding of uh, physical aspects that will be studied in uh, lessons of our curriculum. So I think that uh, for us, its pedagogical aspect must be highlighted. Keep in mind that AIMSIM can couple with software like Star Cesium Plus to further expand the scope of your simulations to, for example, run a co-simulation of the intake manifold. The 1D software models the powertrain as a whole and provides boundary conditions to CFD, whereas the CFD models the flow in the intake manifold and provides those values back to the 1D software at the boundaries. This allows users to make detailed geometric changes to the intake manifold and understand how those changes change the performance of the engine. There's a tutorial on how to do this in the Star System Plus documentation. In the AIMSIM demo library, there's a pre-built co-simulation with Star System Plus. Another common issue is that teams don't have the ability to simulate their muffler in order to reduce noise and pass sound in the competition, so they build and test multiple mufflers. SimCenter 3D helps here as you can perform these types of simulations directly in NX or use it in combination with a variety of other CAD platforms, which is especially useful since this enables fast design iterations. SimCenter 3D gives you the ability to model porous materials surrounding the muffler perforations. The acoustic transfer admittance feature eliminates the manual work associated with meshing perforated holes, saving you simulation time and modeling effort. Scenario-based post-processing delivers pre-built post-processing scenarios depending on the problem being solved. For example, you can immediately plot the muffler transmission loss curve after computation in just a single click. Other scenarios like contour, benchmark, and more are also available. With SimCenter 3D, you can modify the design of your acoustic models and rapidly cascade it to the simulation model at a much faster pace. For example, you can modify the size of the expansion chambers and the diameter of some of the ducts. Those changes then automatically flow down to the simulation model. Finally, to study the scattering sound from an outlet, in just a few clicks you can create an open duct mesh and perform open-end sound directivity analysis. A typical procedure to do this would be to first find the pressure level target, then predict the combustion pressure from a 1D software, such as AIMSIM, then design the muffler baffles, tubes, perforations, and packing to mitigate the excessive sound pressure level while limiting excessive back pressure. And then finally, validate the external decibel level. Keep in mind there is e-learning content showing you how to approach acoustic simulations. Now I'll transition to electric vehicles, where the first issue with teams developing electric vehicles is going through huge amounts of information to select the right cells and arrangements that satisfies the requirements. Another challenge teams face is not knowing how to appropriately control the temperature for their battery pack. That's where SimCenter AIMSIM's battery pre-sizing tool can use a few macroscopic parameters to generate a realistic quasi-static battery model without access to test data and provide a battery design meeting the technical requirements. Here is a one minute demonstration of this.
SimCenter AIMSIM comes with a database of pre-calibrated models for the most used lithium ion chemistry with different sizing like high power, high energy cells. All these cells have been measured by a partner and for each of them a demonstration shows the comparison of the model with validation measurements for both electrical and thermal estimations. It also comes with tools to help set up the parameters for advanced equivalent circuit cell and pack models depending on the data available. The generated parameters are tables that are a function of the state of charge, but can also include the temperature dependence. Model parameters can be extracted from the discharge characteristics provided in the battery data sheets for manufacturers. The battery data sheets import tool makes this process straightforward by directly extracting the plot values from data sheet curves. It then provides a comparison of the acquired and simulated results, making it easy to judge model fidelity. Model parameters can also be extracted from test bench measurements of the battery's response to both positive and negative current pulses. The Battery Identification Assistant tool can then take these measurements, calculate battery model parameters, and compare the acquired and simulated results to judge model fidelity. From other measurements, the battery's instantaneous output voltage and temperature dependence can be modeled. Battery aging is one of the key issues raised in electric vehicle development since tests take a lot of time and money. However, our advanced equivalent circuit models of a battery include an, an empirical aging model of capacity fade and resistance increase for both calendar and cycle aging. Thanks to this, it's possible to assess battery aging depending on stress factors like the battery capacity loss over a year for different charging strategies. And consider the impact of temperature is also clearly shown since the aging rate is higher due to a higher average temperature during the summer. It's also possible to easily build a complete multi-physics thermal model of an air or liquid cooled battery pack. With this, you can assess the thermal distribution inside the battery pack, study local overheating, and design the most efficient cooling system. That lets you maintain battery temperature at an optimal level for safety, performance, and longevity, and maintain temperature uniformity to prevent electrical imbalance and resulting decreased performance. In electric powered vehicles, battery usage must be monitored to ensure safe conditions and prevent early battery aging. Thanks to the battery model coupled with the safety control strategy models, it is possible to simulate the impact of the battery limitation on the electric vehicle behavior. To assess the operation of a battery management system, depending on various operating conditions, and validate these strategies. The battery model can also be virtually integrated in a full vehicle to check how different phenomena impact the system's overall energy consumption. For example, the impact of various cooling strategies can be checked to find the best compromise. SimCenter AIMSIM online documentation comes with ready-to-use templates and dedicated user guides to demonstrate the usage of the different models and tools. This covers battery packs, battery cells, electric storage, aging, and more. The great thing with 1D simulations like this is that they usually take seconds to run. So if you apply this to HEADS, you can explore hundreds of design possibilities. HEADS allows you to automate data sharing seamlessly between a wide variety of various tools in case you need to involve them in the study. And this illustrates some of those tools you can couple with, which includes the ability to work with software developed in-house. HEADS manages your computer resources to speed up the automated explorations. It uses efficient search technology to seek out design objectives and learn about the design space, and saves you from the massive time investment of needing to manually record data and plan how to plot everything, since it allows you to reach into everything it's found to make your own plots, tables, and more whenever you need it. This shows the power of applying AIMSIM to HEADS, where design space exploration was run to understand the trade-off between acceleration time and range. The vehicle model was built in AIMSIM, which provides the virtual prototype predictions. In five hours, 500 design concepts were automatically explored by HEADS by varying five design parameters, the torque curve coefficient, gear ratio, downshift speed, shifting hysteresis, and rim diameter. Through varying the parameters, HEADS is able to find a set of optimal designs that trade off the performance of acceleration time and range. HEADS reduced the acceleration time by up to 27% and improved the range up to 33% from the baseline. It's very important to keep in mind HEADS shows trends and relationships between the performance metrics and design variables, which aid in understanding what leads to certain performance characteristics. It's worth noting while AIMSAM can be used to get a first idea of the overall thermal performance with the full cooling system and control, along with a full system model, a detailed design of the battery pack can be done by using Battery Design Studio with Star CCM Plus. Williams, the company that develops the batteries for Formula E, illustrates how this has helped them. 
In 2008, Williams was the only team that developed in-house the entire hybrid system, the battery and the flywheel. Since then, Williams has never stopped investing in battery and electrification. 2019, we were chosen as well to supply all the batteries of the Extreme Formula E Championship and the new electric uh, touring car racing series. Because of our high performance background, most of our customers come to us with a clear goal of maximizing performance, but at the same time they want to save mass in the vehicle without compromising the range. And all of this in a very short period of time. The batteries that we design for high performance car or electric racing series generate a huge amount of heat. That heat needs to be to dissipate it. The whole process starts with the characterization of the cells in our own laboratories. Then we use Battery Design Studio to characterize or to create an RCR model of the cell, an equivalent circuit model, and to generate as well a detailed 3D model of the cell. Then we export that information into Scene Center and Stasi CM Plus, and we run our CFD simulation together with uh, the battery simulation module. We are able to calculate the cell temperature or the bus bar temperature, and that's just an example, with a deviation smaller than one degree compared to experimental data, and I think those results are impressive. CFD simulations give us the confidence that everything will meet the targets. We don't need to wait until we build the battery and test the vehicle to know that uh, we meet all the targets defined for the project. Uh, for us, there is no alternative to not using simulation. It could be more expensive to complete our programs. It could be a bit risky for us. CFD simulations and 1D simulations have uh, helped us to reduce the time needed to complete the programs to develop our products. So that means that we can develop our batteries extremely fast. Another issue some teams face that want to develop their own electric motor is that they lack software to aid in their design. That's where SPEE can help with the upfront machine sizing. Its strengths are that its simulations are very fast since it uses an analytical approach. It has strong connectivity to SimCenter or Star CCM Plus for advanced engineering applications, and HEADS is built in for automated design exploration studies. Whereas SimCenter MotorSolve is great for machine design and simulation. Its strengths are that it has higher resolution through FEA simulation, a modern user experience, strong connectivity to SimCenter Magnet for engineering applications, and CAD import capability. To learn the software mentioned, there's a ton of content in the Support Center that covers all the products mentioned here and includes tutorials, tips and tricks, deep dives, and much more. And there are e-learning courses in both Learning Advantage and Mentor Learning Center. To review, I covered how we can help with radiator design, prevent sloshing in your fuel and oil pans, improve internal combustion engine performance, design your battery pack, and design an electric motor.